everyone, Daniel King Gaming here. Welcome back to another episode of the Walking Dead Telltale series season one. Um we're gonna continue. I know, I know I messed up. Um the internet has been very, you know, ag aggravating. But it's fixed, so we're gonna complete this episode. And then all the other episodes should be full as long as we have no internet issues during my streams and everything. So let's continue. Go over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Concha can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. I guess uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Of course. Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Um... How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food here. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. All right. They look happy. Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. Um... How you holding up, yeah. Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Um, don't worry. We're safe, we're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I'm not sure... Yeah. I'm not, not yet. sure when. One day. Things have got to get back to normal. That's good. I hope it's soon. Yeah, me too. Spoiler, it doesn't. <laughs> that I know of, anyway. All right, Clem, that's enough for now. Okay, thanks for pushing me. Of course, it's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. Well, I mean, in the main show, for those who haven't seen it, um... Uh, in the ones that, uh, well, in the ones who live, ending, it's a good ending. So, I mean, I don't know. Pointy. Uh, just going over that shit again. Can I go over there now? i talk to Lily and them. See what they're doing. Got some hay. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. Good, I didn't want to talk to Larry anyway. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? I'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Mm. 
Well... I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything, but gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. Lee, I know you and Kenny Whatever are friends, say. but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? That's messed up. Kenny believes there's still hope. Maybe that's what we need right now. Well, hope doesn't do any good if we're all dead. I'm focused on keeping us alive. Are you though? Hey. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. God, what an asshole. Anyway. Why is he so mean? Lots of hay. <laughs> It's not my fault I killed my ex-wife's husband. If that becomes or, a problem. Wait, what? I, I don't even know what he, who he killed. It's some girl, guy, I don't... I don't know who he killed. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in shifts. Oh, well, actually, if I'm correct... Lee found his wife um, sleeping with someone else, I guess. And then, yeah, that's when he accidentally killed him, I guess. Fellas, how you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. I think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. All right. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. I'll try anyway. Bye. See anything? Not yet. We're in the middle of the woods. What are we supposed to see? 
I know here. it's around here. It's gotta be close. You found it? See anybody? Stay on your guard. Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. I should shoot you in the back. Camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Well, Empty. we got some bleach. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Some empty recently. cans. I, I, I guess that's a drink. Some soup. Some Nothing gas. but fumes. Shit. See here, we got uh, another can. It's got a spoon in it. Save blocks. What's in the boxes? Empty They're all from save cans. lots. The first few days, they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Nope. Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <laughs> I'll pass. Ah, St. John Dairy. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Nothing. I want to know how they got a cart out Looks here in like the middle of the woods. It's got, it had to be a pain. It had to be a pain anyway. Uh, let's see here. We got... Uh, Kettle. Just water. Ancient. <coughs> water that's been smoking. Yuck. I don't need that. I don't either. Alright, let's go over here. What's what we Nothing. got here? Milk? No. Definitely St. John Milk. Oh! I don't know what that is. I thought it was one of my old favorite snacks that they don't make anymore, but it wasn't. Big lots, save lots, same thing anyway. What do you find? A video camera. Mm -hmm. Let me see that. Battery's dead Busted. though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. What do you mean, good? I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily? I thought you were running things back there. Yeah, but uh, uh she's got the combat training. Wait, I was over here. No, I'm okay. Got a chair. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Is there anything else? I probably missed something. Let me go check over here. Uh, that's it. All right, we'll check inside the tent. Right. Let's see here, we got a bunny. It looks like. 
He's acting suspicious, but we we'll ignore it. Oh, we got a bunny. Oh, that's messed up. Jesus, there's a kid mixed up in this. Was more like. Hold your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. Why are you alone up here? What happened to you? Well, that's a hell of a question, mister. They told me I'd be safe with them, men who lived here. But it weren't safe. Not for me, and not for my girl. They didn't treat her nice, not at all. They took her away into the woods. Wouldn't tell me where, and I begged them every way I could think. They just laughed. <laughs> so I killed them, and I'm staying here till she comes back to me, one way or another. She'll come back. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice, soft arrow right through your eyeball. And into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? A little girl. You stole it from her! So what if I did? You stole her from me. What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy! Tell him what you got in mind for- oh! Jeez. God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Kind of feel bad though. I guess the bandit stole her. Got her. Man, name. that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Well, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. Oh, boy. What's going on with them? Dunno. Squabbling, looks like. 
Lot of tension with y'all, huh? They have different ideas about how we should run our group. If they don't find any common ground, this whole thing's gonna fall apart. No, it's just tough times. Everyone's hungry and people get a little stir-crazy when their tummy's empty. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna go talk to you. Hold on. Can I talk to her again? Uh, I don't remember. Got some explaining to do later, Clem. Right, I'm gonna go talk to her break quick. Pardon me, Brenda. What's on your mind, Lee? Um... We ran into some trouble out there. I was just glad you two weren't hurt. Those bandits just don't know when to quit. But my boys, oh, no, I was hurt, they can hold their own. In a different way. Why did you make a deal with those people? We got a threat of humanity left, Lee. We can do more good without them in our hair by placating them. So that's what we do. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Uh, not to be rude, ma'am. How come you're out here instead of, you know? <laughs> oh, you want to know why I'm not slaving away in the kitchen? Is that it? Uh, no, no, I didn't mean for it to sound like that. Oh, it's okay, darling. Got it slow cooking in the oven. Should be ready before too long. Think I'll go have a look around. Kind of peaceful out here, ain't it? Enjoy it while you can. You'll probably start hearing those monsters frying against the fence before too long. Mm. Well, hello. Glad I got to use her today. My girl what? here. You really like that guy. What's not to like? Just kind of creepy, that's all. Times like these, a 243 will keep you warmer at night than any lady I ever know. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Very suspicious the way he said that would be a very good one. Okay, buddy. Supper's gonna be gonna a good one. This for a <laughs> Glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. Maybe I should go ask what was it about? Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? 
Oh, we found him, all right. We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn where we at least know what to expect. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get Wait, too nosy. These, people are these kinds of people weird. are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Oh, I can tell. They're definitely hiding something. Okay, 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 okay. Well, whatever you say. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay, go ahead. She says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. I got a feeling she probably did, but... How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Uh, probably not. I'd like to but someday. But I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. She looks skinny. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, it smells funny in here. Uh-oh. Like shit, right, Lee? Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, don't oh. use swear words, okay? Okay. <laughs> you guys having fun? Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. Hey there, Yeah, Andy. yeah. yeah. Okay. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Uh, yeah. How's the so cow? How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. Um, um... When do you when think, do you think uh, we, might we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. Is she? Thanks. Yep. Well, I guess we'll check out the uh, burn. What's going on in here? Oh, nothing. Mm. 
Very odd, very odd. I figured a ranch would be, you know, dairy having meat like that. A weird. There's some fence posts. Another note. Let's go check over here. Just some hay, it's a I feeding guess. trough. Allah, anything going on in here? No, just hey. I want to play in the hay. Just stay close to your mom for now. Okay. Yeah, duck. Uh, it looks like a pretty normal barn. Oh. Oh, well. This doesn't look like a normal... Um, what the fuck? Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. I could be wrong, but... Okay, I'm just overthinking it. Anyway. Let's go over here and check it out. What do we got over here? St. John's Dairy Boxes. Empty. They're always empty, Lee. They're always empty, no matter where you go. Yeah. Anyway. Let's uh open this, I guess. You All found right, it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I mean, I would probably protect Clem. I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Okay. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Mm -hmm. Why would you say That's that? That's racist. Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right, sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Yeah. <laughs> uh, just checking out. Just checking out the barn here. Burn. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Ow. Ben. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, Mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hmm. Okay, I think I know a way to distract Danny because uh, he got mad at... Well, he was checking it out earlier. I think it's the generator box. So, yeah. Oh! 
So, how does a woman like yourself run this whole place? Oh, I manage just fine. Plus, I have my boys to help out. I couldn't do it without them. Yes, I knew it. All right. Let's see if we can... Uh... Maybe we can do this while it's on. I don't know. There you go. Uh, here, let's turn it off. Big quick. And then we do this. Got it. There. That should do it. Booyah! <laughs> Fucking Danny, where'd he find this piece of shit? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, all. Ah, son of a fuck. Oh, this will take forever. Better get it fixed. Alright, this gives us time to open up and see what they're hiding behind this mysterious door. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Go, 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 go! Son of a bitch. Mom! Dad! Dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey, let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Penny, come along, honey. Penny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. All right. Let's see here. There's one. There's two. And there's three. And there is four. What? Oh, well, uh, oh, Boy, they're the ones that set the bear bell. trap. Dinner time. Fucking murders. What the hell? What the hell you got this? in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still got to do a lot of hunting to keep everyone uh, fed. Uh, when we catch something humans? in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. I don't trust this guy. <laughs> oh, Brenda, you wow. are an angel. Oh, Excuse boy. us, we had to block the back door after Walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside since. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mom? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. Mind if I wash my hands first? Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. This dairy must have meant a lot to them before the walkers destroyed everything. High school diploma. Andy's college degree. These boys aren't stupid. Andy's baseball trophy. Hmm. Seems like it's been years since kids were playing sports for fun. This must be Terry. Walkers aren't getting through that thing. Somewhere. 
waterfall, the orange curve. There's also a black cord that uh, goes to the light. What does this cord do? Ah. Let's go see Mark. Mark's dead, isn't he? Where the hell uh, is Mark? But Brenda said he was up here resting. Feels like there's a storm coming. Is that blood? He's dead. Ah, uh, he's behind the door and he's dead. God. Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Ah, oh, sit yeah, your ass down, that. Lee. This lady don't has made that. you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had a start. He could use some goddamn manners. You're eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? That's ridiculous. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. They're picking us off to trade us meat. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Britta, tell me he's not being eaten right now. It's true. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We got to think about living. Settle down, honey. Growing up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. You're all sick. Sick in the head. Lee, that's not a very nice thing to imply. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Kenny, get your gun! Kenny, no! Nobody's going anywhere! We got lots of use for y'all right here. Son of a... What the fuck? The fucking black Put fuck. your guns down! We're walking out of here! My fucking right. family. I don't want to die. Mommy, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? Lee? Oh, you ass. I'll kill you! Us in here! 
Open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bare hand. hand! We gotta find another way out of here! <laughs> Yo, <laughs> shit! <laughs> fucking <laughs> bastard! We're here, that. Open this door, goddammit! I will knock the goddamn God, door stop. down! It, what up, it was please? a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. Or if you listened... If you you okay, Clementine? If, if, they, if you listened to me... They didn't hurt me, you, did they? Mm -mm. But I oh, said... Man, no! we're we, eating those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn Everyone. film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just you shut the fuck it. up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. You guys were the one that yeah. wanted to yeah. leave yeah. the Where's motel. The Dad, please! Uh. Don't give up. Right, we're gonna find a way out of here. Can I help? Sure, honey. You keep your eyes open for exposed screws or loose panels. Anything we can pry away to open a passage out of here. Okay. Please settle down! I'll, I'll rip your goddamn heads up and make you swallow them! They got caught you and duck, Lee! Those fuckers have my family! I know! We're gonna get out of here and find them! Come on! Try us out! Our coward! Dad! Oh, hold on. There's Mark! Come on, Larry. Do you really want to attract their attention? Yeah. I want to attract their attention. So I can fucking kill them! Guess your new girlfriend wasn't all she was cracked up to be. What the hell is your problem? You were a prick back at the motor lodge, even after I saved your fucking life. And you went out of your way to be an asshole to me tonight. What? You must really hate me. But guess what? You're stuck with me. I plan to be around long after you're gone. And if you turn, I'll be the one to put the axe through your skull. Dad! Open up, goddammit! No, you're not worth the energy to hate. Don't forget, I know who you really are. Yeah, you're yeah, not gonna yeah. open the door! You, you think a <sighs> fucking apocalypse gives you the right? Uh, I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get... Uh, uh, <sighs> easy! <sighs> That's, uh, not good. No! Dad, come on! Dad! Oh, he's dead. Oh, God. Oh, he no, stopped he breathing. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! I'm with me. Kenny on this. I think he's dead. If he's dead, he's not, not dead! You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. I... You saw that poor bastard at the motel? I... How fast he turned? What are you I... saying? Yeah, Lily, but... I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! We'll mourn him later, but right now we have to keep him from coming back. No! God damn it, Kenny! He's not dead! I. Maybe you're right. No, god damn it! My dad survived worse than this! Look, Kitty, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. Gotta destroy the brain. Come on, Lee, I'm right about this. I know you've got my back. You always do. I mean, I know you're right. God damn it, I Lee, I right need you! Please help me! But... Come on, Dad. Come I... on. Oh, God. Wake up. I'm sorry. Wake up! I'm so sorry. You're right, I'm Kenny. so sorry. Let's get this you over. You fucking with. monsters! Fall of you! I don't want to see! I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! Get off me! I don't think he would want to turn. Don't do he's it! Not, he's breathing! He's not breathing, Lily! No! No, no, no! Lily, he's not breathing. Let go of me! Lily, he's not breathing! No! Please. I'm sorry. This is murder, but... No! no! <laughs> oh, God. God help us. I'm sorry. I 
I Don't know. you fucking touch me! <laughs> Clementine. Clem. You okay? Why, Lee? Lily said he wasn't dead. We I'm sorry. We couldn't take that chance. You understand why we had to do this, Clementine. So we won't turn into one of those monsters? That's right. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need I you to be strong. Larry, Think about yeah. something else. Something hopeful. Like he what? He was an ass, but... Never liked him. Uh... A safe Some place. place safe where no monsters can get you. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? Yes, maybe. I'm working I don't it. know. Oh God! Oh, that's a. Uh, oh, that looks way I worse. I know it was necessary, heart. but I just wish Clem didn't have to witness shit like this. I worry what it's <laughs> gonna do to her. Like you're a monster. You're a monster. I'm sorry. You, uh, you think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now: getting the fuck out of here. We did what we had to. It's just you and me. Lily's in no condition to help us rescue your family. Considering what just happened, she'd probably side with the St. John's against us. I mean, yeah. Um. There ought to be an air duct okay. behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. I don't know, Lee. Seems like a long shot. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Multi-tool. Of course they took it. Shit. Maybe there's something else Damn. we could use. I've got a rock. Got a coin? Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Oh, wait. Do you have a coin? Larry has uh -uh. coins. Larry has coins. I remember what he said to Mark. Okay, okay. I, I know. But is she gonna let me? Is the problem. Lily, I'm, I'm sorry. Don't talk to me, Lee. Don't fucking talk to me. I know Larry would want you to move. Larry would have wanted. Fuck it. you! You think he wanted this? Of course not. You but... don't know what he wanted. You never knew him. You never gave him a chance. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe I should have tried hard. But I know he loved you. He'd want you to get out of here. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver, a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but uh, back at the motor inn, Larry... Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. In other words, my father's more useful to you dead than alive. I'm sorry! He was alive and had the key to getting us out of here. Do you think he'd keep it to himself? What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. Uh, yeah. Do what you have to do. Listen, do you think... And your father, not just oh, that, boy. threatened to kill me long after he was gone. Any idea which pocket he keeps his change in? You fucking vulture! Others. Don't worry, I'm not taking it. Um. Huh, he still carried his wallet. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. I wonder why he did carry his wallet. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. Well, yeah, that's a really weird looking coin. You got it? Yeah, one more should do it. 
worry, boss man. We're gonna get this off. We're gonna go kill them cannibals and then we're gonna get the family and we're gonna leave this crazy place. There's our way out, Lee. Um, I know. Clementine I'm sorry, Clem, but looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. Okay. I know you're brave enough. I know you're brave enough. I'm scared. Remember the treehouse? You held out for days. And I saved your life. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <sighs> okay. You're gonna be fine. What do I do when I get out? See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. God's sake, Lee. Didn't even get to say goodbye. Get in here. I got an idea. Stay here. Take care of Lily, okay? I will. Make sure she doesn't do anything crazy. Now, what's going on? In oh, we're back here. What they were using this room. It's a goddamn human slaughterhouse. How did, they, how did no one hear Mark screaming after they were cutting his legs? Like, how did he? How did they even have time for this? Like, when did they cut his legs? But I'm wondering. Like, oh my god. Jesus. Ooh. Hey, watch your step. That's slippery. I've learned my lesson on those. I think I'm gonna be sick. Oh my God, what's wrong with these people? Maybe I shouldn't have sent Clementine through there. This room would give anybody nightmares. I feel really bad for her. Jesus, this is where they butcher people. Sick bastards, all of them. I'll take this, it looks very nice. Sharp. Nice weapon. So what's the plan? That dumbass is so caught up in his own rant that we could probably sneak right up on him. He'll stick behind me in case anything goes down. When we get to the front, grab his gun. Sounds good. Alright. Okay. So you the ready? plan. Uh Let's yeah. Go. Stay close. Got it. There's the gun. Oh yeah, this is gonna be easy. Oh, it's dull out here. Dead man, found That's where things start to go shit. Daddy and I'm dead. What are you doing outside the barn? Oh shit. Oh, shit. Just guarding the place, like you said. Oh, just sitting out in the rain like a damn weird. Mama says we can't keep that many folks alive and not expect trouble. Pick one to keep and kill the rest. And I pick which one They're talking one about killing us. us. Not no the shit. Kid. Enough meat on the tray. I'll keep an eye on it. Oh, I know. I say. This See is my favorite now. part, too. Hey, when keep I let your eye them on. think they can just walk right out, <laughs> they never even look down. I think you just Some saw me. Fucker thinks this is a game. 
can live that's why you killed that woman in the woods she was about to spill everything you weren't ready to hear yet Lee had to stop her you gotta keep me alive if you kill me the meat gets tainted you can't eat it you're already tainted <clears throat> you ain't gonna kill me <laughs> yeah I am <laughs> that's from Mark Anyone you wait for, and that woman, and her kid. I bet you killed her kid. I'm sorry, Clem. I'm sorry. Oh, I had no! to be done. Gotcha. Let's go. Oh, no. I'll keep Clementine safe. Okay, good. I'm sorry, Clem. It had to be done. It's a walker. Yeah, it's a walker. Carly! Me? Ow! Shh! Is everyone okay? We heard screams as we were coming up to the house. Yeah, it's not good. They attacked us! I knew it! I told you we couldn't trust them! Shit! How many of them are there? Two left! Where? Larry's dead! They chopped off Mark's legs and tried to feed them to us! Shit! Is everyone else okay? They've still got Duck and Katja in the house, and I don't know where the fuck Kenny is. Alright, we're coming in to help. The main gate is too dangerous. Go around the fence and see if there's a back way in. I'll keep looking for Kenny. Do you have a weapon? I don't leave home without it. And stick close. And Lee, be careful. Good thing you guys are here. No, no, please, no, no, no! Oh no, I gotta get, get up, up there. He'll be fine. Okay, okay, we gotta go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, what's up? I'm gonna take the boy and check around. No, please don't take my boy! Let's go, woman. Set her down. I don't wanna hurt y'all. Andy? Danny, is that you? What's going on out there? Yeah. Um, you know what? Where are Katja and the kid? Come here. Let me go! There you are. Please! Get back! Don't come in here! You just had to go snooping around, didn't ya? I don't go, Brenda! Come on now, you know you don't want to do this. Just go away and leave us be. I'm going to come and talk to you. Stop right there, I mean it. Uh, listen. Think about your husband. Think of your 
husband. Would he have wanted his dairy turned into a, a slaughterhouse? A killer, Lee! was obviously smart. How, how did it come to this? Just stop! Let's go. 
Maybe I should have killed him. But he deserves a lot worse, more pain than what I would do. Damn, Kenny's bleeding, man. Hey, Lee. I'd say I'm sorry for leaving the motel unattended, but, you know. I'm glad you showed up when you did. If you hadn't taken that shot at Andy, we might not have gotten out of there. Were they really killing people? For food? Yeah, yeah, they were. We should have known something was up. How the hell do we foresee that? Come on, Lee. I don't know. I really don't. Katya managed to grab this while she was in the house. She said it was with your stuff. Yeah. I found it while I was looking for the people who shot Mark. Do you want it? Why don't you keep it? Sometimes it helps to have something you can document your thoughts on. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'll be fine. I'm just not as young as I used to be. Hun, go on ahead and give me and Lee a second. There's gonna be fallout. For killing Lily's dad? Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you think? I'm with you, Kenny. We'll do what has to be done. You're damn right. Listen, that RV back at the motor inn is just about ready to roll. I want you to come with us. I mean it. Okay. Yeah. Come on, Clementine. Stay close. Lee, did you have to kill those men? Uh, yes. Yes. They were bad. They were bad men, Clementine. They killed Mark and they were gonna kill all of us. They had to be stopped. Understand? Well, they didn't kill Mark yes. yet. But I think so. Technically. Hey, Dad. Yes, I see what Lee meant. What's that noise? That is the sound of a car. Sounds like a car. Oh God, not more strangers. Hmm. But is it a working car? I don't know. Ben, you've literally been with us like a whole two days. Hello? Doesn't look like anybody's there, but uh, we'll take our chances, I guess. Anybody there? Yeah, this is a weird place for a car, though. I got a little freaky deaky going on in here. Doesn't look like nothing. Figures. Oh Dead. crap! Baby, you gotta see this. What? It's a shitload oh, of food and jackpot. supplies back here. Wonder if it's the bandits. Car, probably the bandits. This food could save all of us. Not all of us. <sighs> look. We don't know if these people are dead. If they come back, then we're just monsters who came out of the woods and ruined their lives. We're trying to survive. This come stuff on now, isn't guys. ours. Dad, whose car is it? Don't worry about that, Duck. It's ours now. It's abandoned, Ducky. Don't worry. What if it's not? Exactly. But what if it's not abandoned? What if it is someone's? Look, we we need the food, Clem. We have to take this, Clementine. We need it to survive. Who says it's your decision to make? Hey, we don't have time for this shit. Like it or not, we need this food. Now get over here and open the trunk, Lee. It wasn't my call, really. It was Kenny's, but, you know, it, it, we do need the food. 
You can get pissed off at us later, but for now it's we locked. do need. Oh, no shit. shit! I already tried that, but I heard you take the keys from up front. Damn! Don't get ill with me. We're on the same side. Supplies? Okay. I'll take it. Oh, gotcha. Okay. You first. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, More food in here. Who's next? Uh, Great. Maybe we'll survive this after all. Duck, why don't you carry this? Okay. Got a box of food here. That's a big box I'll carry of food. It. Holy Okay. Okay, Ben. Fair play. This hoodie looks to be um, about your size. Why don't you hold on to this? It might get cold. It's not mine. We're not like the bandits, honey. We didn't hurt anybody to get this. Understand? I guess so. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. I thought they might work in your camcorder. Here, you can have some too. For your walkie-talkie. Batteries, huh? Think you can handle those? You're not gonna let me live that down, are you? Lee, what? you're gonna want to see this. Let me guess. Oh shit! The bandits. Oh shit! Oh, it's Mark. Look at you. Look at you. Oh, you need a mama, sweetheart. We won't let them bandits get you, will we? How are you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll safe. let you know. Sitting there acting like things are the way they used to be. The dead don't kill their own. It's the living you got to be afraid of. The people I used to call friends. The people who took... Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. I promise. Alright. So, guys... That is the end of this um, episode. Uh, we will have a full episode live stream uh, next time, but this will be going up on the channel as well as the other videos have. Um, like I said, we're gonna have full videos now. Uh, not sure why the internet kept acting up, but uh, we're good now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and stream, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.